Turkey just revealed a new dam that has got the world talking for all the right and wrong reasons. The Yusuf Ali Dam may not be the first dam in Turkey, but it holds the distinction of being the tallest in its country. It's a double curvature arch dam with a height of 902 feet, which makes it the fifth tallest dam anywhere in the world. For context, the tallest dam in the world is the Jingping One Dam, an arch dam in China standing at 1,001 feet. Second in line is the Nurek Dam in Tajikistan, which is an embankment kind of dam standing at 980 feet. However, it seems that these two will be moving a level lower as the Rogun Dam in Tajikistan is under construction. Once completed in 2028, it'll be the tallest dam rising to 1,100 feet. However, it's wrong to limit a dam's greatness to height only as there are other factors like reservoir capacity, its length, the amount of electricity it'll generate, etc. etc. Hydropower is a major solution to the rapidly developing Turkey. Even though it has more than 700 hydroelectric facilities accounting for 17% of its energy needs, Turkey still has to import about three quarters of its energy. It receives almost half of its gas and almost 10% of its oil from Russia. Other trading partners include Iran, Azerbaijan, and the United States. However, these energy imports create dependency issues for Turkey. Heavy dependence on imported energy may also create serious external political liabilities, with exporter countries putting political pressure on importers by threatening to cut off or limit supplies. This isn't an ideal situation for any country that wants to maintain an independent foreign policy and overall sovereignty. On the other hand, Turkey has a very limited supply of fossil fuels to support its growing industries and population. The switch to renewable resources like hydro and wind will not only relieve Turkey's import bill, but will also protect the environment. After all, Turkey is a place of gorgeous landscapes that continue to attract millions of tourists from around the world. So preserving its natural sites is part of the main agenda. The new Yusufeli Dam will increase the country's hydroelectric generation by 2%. It'll be harvesting the potential of the Koro River in the Artvin province. The Koro River is an extension of the Black Sea, which is a large body of water trapped by countries like Turkey, Ukraine, Romania, Russia, etc. It has only one outlet, the Bosporus Strait, which is controlled by Turkey. Being flanked by major seas like the Black Sea, the Aegean Sea, the Sea of Marmara, and then finally the Mediterranean, Turkey not only has a lot of beaches, but is also richly supplied by a network of lakes and rivers. So it makes sense to utilize its natural resources to solve its energy crisis. If you've enjoyed the video so far, hit the subscribe button and show your support. We release two videos each week bringing you the hottest news in the engineering world. Moving on, the Yusufeli Dam has an installed power of 558 megawatts and will produce 1,888 billion kilowatt hours of energy annually. This is enough to meet the energy requirements of 2.5 million households or 750,000 electric cars. Unlike the majority of Turkey's dams, which are clustered on the Euphrates and the Tigris rivers, the Yusufeli Dam perches on the Kora, which has only a tiny downstream portion in Georgia. It's important to note that most of these dams have reduced water flow to already water-stressed countries such as Syria and Iraq. This might trigger diplomatic tension between these nations in addition to Turkey and Syria's already troubled history. A similar scenario unfolded when Ethiopia built the Grand Renaissance Dam which threatened water supply to two downstream countries, Egypt and Sudan. Multiple efforts to bring these nations to the table have failed, but let's hope that in Turkey's case, the matter doesn't go too far. The Yusufeli Dam is part of the larger Koro River development plan, which plans to build 13 dams, of which two are operational and another two are under construction. Plans to build it date back to the 1970s when the first studies were carried out. The dam became part of the Koro River Hydropower Development Master Plan in 1982. Fast forward three decades, the foundation stone for Yusufeli was finally laid in 2013. With an initial opening date of 2018, the dam's construction came at a whopping price of $270 million. The deadline was pushed forward to 2021, and it's expected that it'll produce energy at full capacity by the end of 2024. It has a total water storage volume of approximately 2.2 billion cubic meters, with a reservoir surface area of 13 square miles. To build this gigantic structure, 5,800,000 cubic meters of concrete and 70,000 tons of iron and steel products were used. The project site lies upstream of the Borka, Maralti, and the Dariner hydroelectric power plants. The dam will have an underground power station that's 361 feet long, 70 feet wide, and 148 feet high. It is within this station where the actual work's done. Three vertical shaft Francis turbines, each generating 180 megawatts, are used. Each turbine unit's designed to operate at a rated head of 191 meters and a rated discharge of 107 cubic meters per second. 
The pair of spillways, known as T1 and T2, are controlled gates and open when the reservoir reaches the maximum capacity. The dam has a crest length of 1,608 feet and a crest width of 49 feet. The wall of the reservoir is nearly 8 meters thick to withstand the enormous pressure of the water. Its sides are supported by the mountain range, which gives it added stability and relieves some of the burden from the dam's wall. If you look at the time lapse of the construction video, the dam is built segmental. That is, the cement is added in layers. And when the previous layer is dried, a new layer is added on top of it. The Yusufeli Dam has changed the landscape in the valley both literally and figuratively. Support infrastructure was built that included 110 kilometers of roads, 45 tunnels, 22 bridges, and 92 culverts. Given the scale of this mega project, the dam is expected to add 6 billion Turkish liras, or $208 million in annual value to the Turkish economy. However, as with any dam in the world, the Yusufeli Dam also comes at the cost of threatening the biodiversity of the region. Surrounded by steep mountains with the Kora River tearing through the narrow valley, this valley is home to 70 endemic plant species. According to residents and environmentalists, it's like a nature museum being destroyed. It's expected that the dam will adversely affect 21 nationally listed threatened plant species. Seven of these are critically endangered, five are endangered, and nine are vulnerable. The dam's presence will also impact 12 nationally listed threatened mammal species, including the wild goat, Persian squirrel, brown bear, gray wolf, and many more. The situation's no better for marine life, as the Yusufeli and the other planned dams will provide a hindrance to their natural route. This includes two already threatened species, the Black Sea Salmon and Brown Trout. The Black Sea Salmon's migration will be blocked because of this and the other dams. But it's not just the wildlife whose homes are getting destroyed, it's humans too. The dams uprooted approximately 7,400 residents in Yusufeli alone, as well as more people in surrounding villages. The residents looked in despair at their submerged houses, gardens, graveyards, and streets, as well as historical churches and old mosques. To resettle the displaced people, the government has created sets of brand new semi-high-rise buildings on a steep mountainside. A total of 2,620 apartments are spread out over four neighborhoods connected by tunnels. These are playgrounds and shopping centers, new schools, and plenty of parking space. For low-income households, the resettlement has brought a higher standard of living. However, the apartment blocks stacked on top of one another reflect a lifeless living. Compared to the valley's lush rice fields, green farmland, and fruit trees, the apartments are a far cry from this. One of the residents living in the ground floor apartment compared her apartment to a prison. Residents will be living rent-free for the next five years. As water levels are rising, volunteers search for any stray cat or dog to rescue in the flooded town of Yusufeli. Each day, the water rose three feet to fill the reservoir. As of September 15, 2023, the water level on the dam has reached 2,300 feet. By the end of 2024, the dam will be fully operational, supplying electricity to millions of households in Turkey. What do you think about the Yusufeli Dam? Does its advantages outweigh the negatives? Comment your thoughts below. If you liked today's video, show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. We're committed to releasing two weekly videos, so stay tuned for our next upload.